This first clip I've got is uh, Jared against Kentucky. This is where Cedric Van Pran Granger had gone down and uh, wasn't hurt for long term, but it at least allowed us to see Jared get quality reps against the first team D. And this is the one play that I wanted to show you, which is his lateral movement and how him being a little bit shorter than some of the linemen allows him to get leverage underneath. You can definitely tell he's very strong in his lower body. But here you can see he's got a lined up head zero technique right over the top of him, split in the midline. And he's basically got to turn that guy back towards his left because we're running zone right here, a split zone uh, with Brock coming across to take care of the re-technique on the backside. So I just wanted to show you real quick, as he engages the zero, there's a run through that Tate's going to take care of into the A-gap. And uh, what I like about this is that even though realistically right now the nose has him beat to the shelf side, that he works his body and gets his hips turned and seals that gap off. There's no chance of his guy getting across his face right here. So really nice technique laterally, but also too, you know, being able to snap the football and not get any penetration against a big guy that all he's doing is teeing off and hitting you. This lets me know he's very strong in his lower body and he can definitely hold that weight right there. So very good position, great job of moving his hips and creating that wall between him and the ball carrier and allowing uh, the running back pretty much to go into the end zone unimpeded right here. Great job by him. In this clip against Florida State, <clears throat> we got a chance to see the Young Bucks play a lot in this game. And right now, I mean, the beauty across that line is, guys, that's the future of our offensive line sitting there right now. When Truss and Ratledge go next year, if Green stays uh, his next year, I mean, realistically, this could be our offensive line for the future. And here, Jared is going to be blocking zone left, so he's stepping to the left side A gap. He's got a basically a one sitting to his strong side, um, and he has nobody in his weak side gap. We're actually running to the weak side here, so we've got trips bunch right, so we've got a Ricky call and we're running zone left. So we're running to green side where Cole Spears at, Michael Morris. But in this play right here, what I like is Jared knows he's got help with Dylan Fairchild stepping into that gap as well. Realistically, he is going to stem to climb to that play side backer number four. But he is definitely not going to allow the guy that's to his right to just free release up to him. So what I like here is the guy slants across his face in this uh, – in this gap skin, he's really stunting hard across the face. You know, immediately Jared's thinking, I'm stepping up to number four, but when he feels the pressure of that guy coming across his face, and now the linebacker's kind of in an X stunt sitting still to take care of backside cut, all right? Now Jared and Dylan are in a double team. And what I like here is he knows he's got help. So not only is he leveraging and posting, with, so this allows him now to climb, and he's doing a great job of taking on the brunt work right here, which is really nice too. But he's got help because Fairchild is running him as well, and they've got this guy manhandled. The one thing that could happen right here is since Dylan's got a hold of him, if he did have to climb to a linebacker, and the linebacker's taking himself out of the play because he's made the wrong cut, he could climb off of this post because Dylan's got him taken over now. But look at this wall. If Roderick sees this just a little bit earlier, look at that hole. It's against him on the safety, but luckily he still makes the cut, gets up in there, and gets a good run. But again, I just want you to be able to see here how he uses the post to help climb, and his leverage is great. He's underneath. You know, he's about six foot three, so being a little short helps him get up underneath the pads, and because he's so strong in his legs, he holds his ground so well. Watch him wall off that uh, defensive tackle right here as Dylan Fairchild takes over. Very nice play by Combo Block here on zone. Lastly, what I'll show you is a pass pro set where he gets a stunt. He's made a Louie call, so the three linemen to the left of the midline are going to take care of the three and however they show, but in this case, only two show. What I like about this is his discipline to not chase the shade um, that crosses over to Micah's side because when typically, just like with anything else, you teach a D lineman, if you get a down block in front of you, something's coming to kick you out. It's the same principle. If you've got a guy lined up in your gap to your left or right, and he leaves your gap across another gap, more than likely you're going to get some kind of X coming back to you. 
And Jared does a great job here of not chasing his shade. Um, I guess it would really be more of a, a two eye um, and not allowing that extant to come back across because this becomes a dead play. Stockton reads this with four down linemen and they're in man, they're in two man right here or either in, yeah, they're in two man right here. And so there's no linebacker in the middle of the field. Quarterback should be an automatic read to go. All right. So he's going to scat. But what if Jared doesn't, you know, stay disciplined right there and chases that guy across Micah's face, he's not ready to take on that X stunt. And what I love about it is that the defensive end comes across on the X and he's so high. And Jared is, like I said, not as tall as most linemen are. So he's able to get up underneath him. So not only does he get up underneath him, he jacks him up a little bit right there, which I like too. But I want to show you this for the purpose of the pass pro call and being disciplined to not chase the stunt across his face and being able to take on the X stunt coming back. And what a lot of linemen will do right here is they'll hold. Once he feels that guy tear away, oh, he almost wanted to, but you'll notice he let him go. And that guy doesn't get the tackle. He almost does. But Jared, I really was very impressed right here with his discipline on this because of the fact that he holds up takes on the X stunt, stays disciplined, and then doesn't hold the defensive lineman when he pulls away right here. So, again, let's watch it in full speed. Louis call, X stunt, jacked him up right there. Good play. Hold on, hold on.